you're hearing a lot these days that um, that everyone's fragile, everyone's a snowflake, and and who who someone's pointing the finger at depends a great deal on their their political ideology. And um, what the research is showing is that everyone everyone wants to censor someone. Everyone thinks somebody else is wrong. They just disagree on who should be silenced and who is who is incorrect. Um, one of the things I've been excited to see is is the work of um, some of the folks like um, Jonathan Haidt at NYU who uh, make the case that human beings are are anti-fragile in the sense that we get better, uh, we get stronger, we get more resilient and more capable of dealing with the world when we when we encounter difficulties and and overcome them. I think that has huge relevance to the free expression conversation because fundamentally dealing with free expression is difficult. Um, supporting the idea of free expression um, means supporting the idea or the existence of even offensive speech. That's not a small thing. We're cognizant of the fact that we're talking about free expression in an era where self-identified white nationalists and Nazis are marching down the streets in Charlottesville and people are dying trying to peacefully counter protest those ideas. I'm thinking of a, a story that um, I think is powerful and, and somewhat representative of the good things that come if people feel comfortable to express even, even nasty views. I was listening to NPR and heard the story of um, Daryl Davis. Uh, he's a, a, a kind of jazz and blues musician who um, began, he's an African American gentleman, he began collecting um, KKK memorabilia as basically a reminder of, of how far the civil rights movement has come, but how far we still have to go as a society in terms of eliminating bigotry and prejudice. And in the course of, um, of collecting this memorabilia, he came into contact with a lot of um, current or former members of the KKK or, or family members of those people who had sympathies to those abhorrent views and he was just sitting down and talking to these people. He was having drinks with them at a bar. He was conversing with them and, and often he would hear uh, these people say that um, they've never met a black person. They've never actually had a conversation. So much of what they'd been taught uh, had never been challenged through dialogue of that sort. And it's, it's uh, you hear this on college campuses a lot, it is entirely unfair that a, that a Daryl Davis has to bear the weight of those bigoted views and be the person who engages in the difficult exercise of dialogue. But over the course of his life of doing this, he's converted you know, more than 200 KKK members to, uh, to turn in their robes, to disavow their beliefs, and ultimately to recognize that they, they were wrong um, hating somebody on the basis of skin color. So, how can we promote a culture of openness in society that makes us as individuals receptive to engaging with even, um, even the most deplorable views with the, the goal of changing them? You know, at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a John Stuart Mill nerd. I think nothing but good things happen when you engage with ideas with which you disagree. You either learn how to better defend your position, maybe you move closer to truth, maybe you persuade the other of a given view, but either way, you've all learned something and, and been made better by that encounter. So there's, there's a role for protest, there's a role for civil disobedience, there's a role for robust disagreement. It just um, means that your disagreement has to stop short of violating the rights of others. It stops short of, you know, your fist at my nose or, um, you know, you stepping onto to my property or, or causing harm. So I, I don't think civility is necessarily the be all end all goal in and of itself. What's more important is I think fostering an inherent respect and dignity for every human being and recognizing that even if you disagree with an individual, they are a human with inherent worth and value who shouldn't be harmed. Mm -hmm.